everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Lina and I hope you're all doing wonderful today. This is my first video for this year and I hope you all had a great Christmas time and also I hope that this year will be so much better for all of us. In today's video I'm going to show you a few DIY textured wall arts using different fabrics. I really hope that you enjoyed this video so let's go ahead and let's get started. <music> I bought this wall art from the thrift shop as it is very sturdy and the quality is very good so it will be perfect for this project. I'm also going to use this little rack which I bought from IKEA for just two pounds. You need also filler and some acrylic paints and different size painting brushes. I cut the rack in half and I remove the tassels. Then I drew shape on top of the rack, you can make any shape that you like and I cut it out. I also trace the shape on top of the canvas, so I'll know where to apply the glue. I'm going to use this glue which I bought from the pound shop and I'll put all the information in the description box below. And after you apply the glue, you need to spread it evenly to the canvas. After that I place the shape which I made from the rug and I glued it on top of the canvas. And I also glued the edges with hot glue to secure until the other glue gets dry. After I glued the shape I started applying filler all around the fabric and around the edges I use bigger and smaller brushes and you have to make sure that all the edges are very well covered with the filler. I also applied filler on top of the fabric to create depth and more texture and after you finish with the filler you need to let it dry very well at least until the next day. I'm going to mix all these colors to paint the wall art. I'm using acrylic paints, I'll put all the information and the names of the paints in the description box below. First I mixed a little bit from all these colors to try and see if I would like the mixed color and then I mixed more and painted everywhere around the fabric.
I try to create some light shadow around the edge of the fabric and I mix beige color and then on top of this color I cover it with lighter one. So I decided for now that I will not make a frame but instead I painted the sides of the wall art and I mixed sienna color with black and I created similar to dark antique gold color. For this project I'll use this picture which I bought from Primark and some styrofoam leftover pieces, filler and cardboard sheets. I used a piece of an old box. First I measured and I cut to size the styrofoam pieces, then I glued them to the cardboard sheet. I used hot glue and the same glue that I used for the first project, which I bought from the pound shop. After that I drew some shapes on top of the styrofoam and I cut them out using craft knife and this Cricut tool which I have, but you can use anything that could be helpful for you to do this step.
Well, I can tell you that the mess was quite a lot. So after I cleaned up all the mess, I started applying the filler using the spreader and the brush as well. I wanted to cover up very well the styrofoam little bows and I didn't want it to be obvious later that this is a styrofoam. And after I covered well with the filler, I let it dry very well until the next day. To cover the shapes inside I mixed black terracotta, white and grey acrylic paints and I mixed them with the filler. After it was completely dry, I saw these cracks, I have no idea why and how this happened, so I decided first to paint the rest of the shapes with black and then when the paint is completely dry, I'll cover and paint the cracks. Before I covered the cracks, I glued the art to the bottom of the picture and this time I mixed lighter color as I didn't like the yellowish shade so I made it this time more ashy by adding drop of black and more white color. For this project I'll use the same picture I bought two from Primark as they were on sale for just two pounds. You need also a piece of fabric at least twice as big as your canvas if you're using canvas of course, in my case two times the size of the picture. I started by painting the frame black and you can notice that I used tape to cover and protect the picture frame inside but I decided to remove the tape and continue painting with black paint inside the picture and I let the paint to dry very well. So next I mixed filler with PVA glue and water. The texture should not be thick so you can soak the fabric very well. Well, I didn't see how other creators make this type of arts, but friend of mine told me that she'll want to make one and she bought Mod Podge glue, which is way more expensive, so I decided to make it this way and also the filler make it look more like sculpture. After the fabric is very well soaked in the mixture, I place it inside the painted picture and I shape the fabric the way I like it and in this case you definitely need to fold and hide inside the edges of the fabric. 
You can choose and place the fabric any way that you like or prefer and also you need to let it dry very well at least for 24 hours. When it was completely dry, paint it white with this primer which is multi-surface and you don't need to finish with anything else after that. You need to be sure that you have painted all the corners and wrinkles of the fabric. I will not lie to you, it took me a long time to do this, but the end result was beautiful. And the last thing that I did was to paint and cover with black paint the white spots which I made when the fabric was still wet. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching and for your support. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps YouTube algorithm to push this video to more audience and it helps this channel growing. And don't forget to comment and tell me which was your favorite project. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. May God bless you all. Bye-bye.